So yes, you read the title and yeah, my car that I was in, unfortunately, they get like carjacked, kinda. Because I'm pretty sure that carjacking is like whenever you're driving the car and then they're like, hey, they pull out the gun or weapon, whatever, and telling you to get off. Then they drive, drive off, but still pretty much same thing. So the story just starts whenever uh, my family, my brother-in-law, all of that, we're planning to literally today that, hey, let's go to a water park, go to Six Flags, do all that stuff. We drive to the parking lot and then we're like, because there was an academy there and they were like, hey, let's go to academy, get some quick, quick stuff. Yeah. So the water park was like maybe over there. We went all the way at the back part because like academy was closer and all that stuff. And then... Um, my brother-in-law hears like windows crack. Um, and we didn't think really much of it. We just he heard. I didn't hear any. None of us heard. In fact, it was just my brother-in-law that heard uh, some glass crack. And then we're just walking towards academy until like, hey, I hear, I hear like our car, the vehicle that we're in, is like beeping and stuff like da 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 da. And then my sisters, my whole family turns around and we see this car or like we actually thought that the car was like, oh, hey, it hit us. And then my brother-in-law was like, hey, the window's open. We didn't remember the window opening. And then my mind was like kind of processing and I was like, oh, shit, it's a carjack. So my, my, I got two brothers-in-laws. Both of them ran towards the thing. They all ran literally like, holy crap, like, they're getting away. And then my dad, because my whole family was there. My dad was like, hey, hey. And then he was, he, he ended up screaming, motherfuckers. Because, like, honestly, hey, you would have you been pissed off trying to rob something in your car. Cowboy man ended up um, identifying, not really. But like all he saw was like a guy with a with a gray hoodie and with red sweatpants. That's his description of how the guy looked like whenever he got out of my ve the vehicle that my family was in. Because, you know, it was all a whole carjacking. Should we call it carjack? Because this is more like a freaking car robbing situation. Something like that, bro. They took off. I freaking ran ran like like i never before trying to take a picture of the guy's license plate honestly this is the only picture i got of the car i didn't sadly record none of it because all of it was super happened fast but this is i ran as fast as i can to get the guy's license plate and guess what he had no license plate so we couldn't really identify it but it was a red toyota with <sighs> it sucks honestly the guys completely um, got away, but we went to our car, and luckily they didn't steal anything. Honestly, they maybe they heard us. They're they're waiting for us. Obviously, they're definitely waiting for us. They they must have saw us because we were in a really really luxurious car, like 2015 GMC Denali. It was a really really luxurious car for them to see. Obviously. They were expecting us to have, like, freaking, I don't know, like, gold in the freaking thing. We did. We were about to leave, like, $3,000 inside the the um the car. Luckily, we took that with us to go to Academy. But, obviously, the guys were, like, trying to rob us. Literally, right where, when we were walking in Academy. Academy and then all of us, or my brother-in-laws and me, were, like, running towards the, the people. I took the picture and yeah, something that I learned about these criminals, thieves, whatever you want to call them, is that they were, I'm pretty sure there are some really unexperienced like thieves when it comes to breaking into cars because if I have a video right here that they try to like break the windshield or glass, however you want to call it, on the front, on the front door. Of like where the this the driver and the passenger seat is, and you could see that they try to break in the like the front, but obviously obviously they failed. 
because they are like bashing it at the way bottom and firefighters said this before that if you want to break glass from a car you gotta at least do it from here up here or in the middle and these guys clearly probably did not know how to do it i'm pretty sure whenever they broke in at the back they had to like do it force. They maybe had to do it force because the glasses were tinted. And if you ever break glass with tinted windows, it's gonna, the glass is gonna stay intact with, cause of the tints holding it. Clearly, he had to like freaking do this with force. Anyways, the security came. We eventually told the security everything. And then the security contacted like more security. And then, like, the, the main person, the manager of the security thing in the whole water park came in. And then we talked, we talked about the whole situation, too. He said if we had any pictures. I only had two, which is the one I just showed you right here, as y'all can see right here. He said we wanted to file a police report because it was on private property. They, do have, they did have, like, security cameras over there, which... They said that they will be, like, released or shown to us, like, in five or ten days. That's what he said, I'm pretty sure. So, in about a week, we'll be able to see, like, the camera footage of them breaking into the thing. I hope I hope they show it to us because, like, I would like to show you, like, hey, this is, this is what these guys did to the vehicle, to my dad's vehicle. Honestly, we're glad that we caught them right in time because at the very back of the SUV, of our SUV, the, uh, my brother-in-law's packed guns and we had like four guns in the vehicle in total. One of my brother-in-law's had three guns. The other one had one. I don't know why my, uh, my brother-in-law brought three of them. Anyways, we were all like, damn, what are we going to do? We got to go home now. But the W security guard said, hey, we're going to give you a free a free meal pass for today. And that honestly convinced us until like, where the hell are we going to put the guns? Because we can't just leave a window all broken. So employees could like, because employees could literally at any moment, because the security guards told us to like, hey, you could park, you could park your truck to where the employee section is more secure all of that and then and then my dad was like hey how are we gonna like where are we gonna put the guns that that y'all have and then th again the security guard convinced them hey we we, uh, we have constable um a police officer here we could tell we could tell the police officer to put y'all's guns into the cop car so no one can steal them and that's what we did, and we went. Uh, we continued our day in the water park, having fun. And honestly, without thinking that entire situation, it had to be one of the funnest times that I've honestly ever had in a while, honestly. Because this water park, we, we have been here. I have been here, but it was like crap, like five, six years ago. And I can't believe after like five or six years ago, we come back. And then just so we could get a freaking windshield all broken up, bruh. Anyways, we had our fun. But then it was unfortunately time to go. And then my brother-in-law went to go find the the cop to go get his to get retreat and to get his guns back. And then he got the guns back. And then we went back home with a broken windshield. We didn't want nobody to see that, hey, there was we got we got just uh, we got we don't got a missing window here, so we unfortunately had every single window down and it was kind of a <laughs> kind of hated it because like hey my hair was like flying everywhere bruh as you could see my hair I mean it's kind of kind of doesn't look bad but the video that I'm literally about to show you kind of looks horrible I think this is a video this video is pretty much made that hey wherever you go you gotta really be careful because there's there's a lot of bad people in this world man and we were lucky enough to catch them while they were doing the process they didn't steal anything they just have a broken windshield and they just broke a windshield which honestly my dad said it's okay all you gotta do is like pay 200 300 dollars 150 for the windshield but 
yeah it's just a reminder that hey everywhere is a sketchy place and god was with us literally right with us and he may have given us a warning that hey you can't do this again this this is a warning second time it happened you'll get everything robbed but yeah, I think this is pretty much it about today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Honestly, appreciate it for even listening to me. If there's people that want to see this video. But yeah, I think this is pretty much it for today's video. And I'll see y'all in, in the next one. Goodbye.